Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 412. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and in today's show, we have some news. Yes, we have some news to report on. Uh, most of them are kind of meh, but we'll see, we'll see. Maybe we can spin it around. Uh, if you guys on the YouTubes are checking this out, you'll probably notice that, hey, the camera angle's a bit different, and what's that over there like that's something that's very annoying i'll tell about <laughs> i'll tell you guys later near the end but for now let's hop right into the news so anywho in the first news kotobukiya delays rarity oh no so uh, according to ikiri kotobukiya will be delaying rarity for one month due to the unforeseen circumstances as announced on their information page she was going to <laughs> she was originally supposed to release in april but will be shifted to june instead uh, so here's what kodobukia wrote dear value customers thank you for your generous patronage and support we are writing to inform you that Due to the unforeseen circumstances, there has been a change in the release month of the following product originally scheduled to be released in April 2020. So, this could mean a lot of things. Uh, one of the most obvious one is the global pandemic. So, that could be a reason because, well, uh, if you're sick and not able to go to work, and you have to stay at home uh, you can do work so that's obvious uh, second thing is the production line or production for the figures are delayed because of the global pandemic and so on i mean there's a lot of things that you can theorize but the most obvious one here is the global pandemic so uh, don't mind if, if you have a pre-order you pre-order it so you have just you just have to wait for june instead so it sucks but hey at least you will be getting and you know that people are safe quote unquote so let's just hope that the delay won't cause much trouble i know for some of you guys who are collecting the full set this might be annoying but hey it's not that bad it's not that bad so let's move on to the next news and next news is Terra Strong notes that Twilight Sparkle won't return for My Little Pony Generation 5 during stream. Um, <coughs> so I'm just going to paraphrase this. A uh, short while ago, Terra uh, did a, what you would call this, live stream on her Instagram. And she's been talking and taking questions. And one of those questions is uh, Will Twilight Sparkle be in G5? And Terra said, no, I'm just paraphrasing by the way, uh, no, she won't. But from all the data that we have uh, and quote-unquote uh, production art, Terra, uh, sorry, uh, Twilight is there. Twilight will be a earth pony, was it? Quote-unquote. So uh, according to Terra, she won't, but here's the thing. She probably won't be voicing Twilight Sparkle I know it's very very strange to not hear Twilight's voice but it's a new generation new character and whatnot I mean we'll have to sweat and see but this is kind of mm, I, I don't know it feels like they want to try to go for a full Canadian crew um, for you guys who got no idea what I'm talking about uh, the long and short of it is that when cartoon uh, when <laughs> sorry when companies make cartoons they tend to hire canadians or uh, canadian voice actors and whatnot because of the quote unquote cheaper uh, price that they uh, they take cost like the voice acting sorry the voice actors and actresses uh, they have a certain amount of money that they ask or that they get paid 
uh, while most uh, American voice actors and actresses ask for a bit more depending on which uh, actor or actress you ask for. So Tara is one of those actresses who is considered to be well known and a bit expensive. So this could be a budget cut or whatnot, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, I'm sure that the actress who's going to play Twilight will be really awesome. So we'll just have to wait and see. But who knows? This is could <laughs> this could be one of those cases where uh, the contract hasn't been written up yet, so there haven't been any negotiations between Terra and Hasbro. So who knows? Who knows? But it would be fun to have the original crew voice G5 but that would <laughs> that would rob a uh, potential uh, talent uh, potential future talents for voicing the characters and what I mean by that is uh, let's see a good example is Batman uh, we had Kevin Conroy voice Batman for a long time and his voice is memorable but as time goes on there were other actors who took the mantle of Batman slash Bruce Wayne uh, who they are I don't know I haven't read up on their name but you get what I mean so in the future we might get uh, Tara Strong voiced by this person and she did a really great job who knows so this is one of those cases where if Tara gets the job that's awesome if she doesn't eh, I'll be looking forward on who will be replacing Tara as Twilight Sparkle for G5 so hopes are up so we'll have just have to wait and see so let's move on to the next news and that is pony face mask on the way for the pandemic prevention so uh, i was looking through the webs especially eqd and i saw this this is pretty cool um it's 12 dollars for a mask and yeah, it's good uh, it's up for pre-order and the thing is there's more um there's 15 designs up for pre-order and those designs are rainbow dash i'm guessing the main six so rainbow dash fluttershy applejack rarity pinkie pie and twilight then you'll have starlight glimmer and trixie uh bat pony or uh, vampire bat fluttershy sunset dj pony tree uh villain name i forgot luna muffins and also queen chrysalis who are you who oh cozy glow yay my brain got derp so you can pre-order it on their website which is shop.techqt.com uh, i'm not sure when they'll ship or how they are going to do it but uh, they have what a uh, use code 15 15 off at checkout for 15 percent of three or more mask so that's cool so that's cool uh, you have a lot of mask here and the thing is um i have a strong feeling that this mask are not licensed by uh, Hasbro so mm, I I'll say this purchase at your own risk there's a high chance that the uh, how, how do I put this there's a high chance that legalese uh, legally will come and send them a letter but we'll have to see this is also one of those cases where Hey, people need masks, so they're giving them a what you call this the public a commodity, but at the same time, too, Hasbro wants cash, especially in this time and age or in this day and age. So, we'll see. I, I'm just hoping that things are okay and things go through, but if not, it was still be expected. And if you guys did pre-order tell me in the comment below what did you order like personally for me if i were to get this i'll get derpy uh, sunset and also mm, 
Fluttershy, yes. I'll, I'll get those three personally for me. Why not Luna? Because... Eh, eh, I, I don't know. You know, honestly, she's a bit overrated. Too many fans. Uh, maybe Silver. I'm going to predict what Silver might buy. Uh, Fluttershy, Luna, and Applejack. That's my prediction for Silver. So yay. But let's move on to the last news. And last news is China posting more ponies for quarantine. So I'm just going to read what Seth wrote. The Chinese Weibo, <laughs> Weibo uh, page for Friendship is Magic has slapped up a few more images based around the original, uh, sorry, the ongoing world quarantine and have few other topics this time a bit less direct than the one post during their height of the personal flavor of the pandemic okay uh, so thanks to a commenter on EQD uh, there's some translation file okay so number one wear a mask if you go outside do wear a mask so that it protects you from breathing in or exhaling out bad stuff number two drink plenty of water so keep yourself hydrated keep yourself um yeah keep yourself hydrated so that you don't get dehydrated i, I don't know but just keep yourself hydrated because drinking is good i guess i i don't know I, I drink a lot of water too so just talking like this makes me want to drink ah sorry so yeah keep yourself hydrated that's good um third is eat more fruits so drink water eat more fruits and vegetables get you a lot of fiber so that's good so number four keep social distancing it's recommend that you stay a feet o a foot away from another person but some people say two feet is good enough so yeah if you go out in public try to keep that foot away from a person if you got no idea who they are and if you have not been in contact with them for a while but if you're with your family members uh it's okay you you guys are in the same house household and last rest more in all honesty if we're not playing video games if you're not watching netflix we are going to sleep so hey rest more uh, keep up your energy and whatnot so yay and with that that is the news so let me switch to this one so that is the news for this week uh, we covered almost all of the sorry we covered all of the news that's available for this week on the nbs show and let's move on to the next topic and the next topic is what have i been doing with my week so if you guys have not noticed this is what week three week i, I don't know it's been a while since i've been keeping track and i think i've been talking about this for four weeks now so that means we are experiencing uh, social distancing and staying at home for about a month wow that's interesting so anywho uh, what's new with me i've you know uh haven't been really doing anything new uh so personally for me this week updates has been i've been playing a lot of games um i also have been eating a lot of interesting food that family has made so yay and also bought a lot of food via food delivery service for me uh, over here in malaysia is food panda and grab food grab food is considered to be our uber eats and we don't have uber eats oh sorry we don't have uber here anymore so uh, we have grab a local brand i think but anywho so besides that um last week 
Final Fantasy VII Remake came out and I too jumped on the bandwagon. Been playing, uh, bought it and also been playing it. Uh, the way I bought it is with uh, ordering it online and had it shipped to my house on, same th on the same day. So that's cool. Other than that, I've been playing a few mobile games. Uh, yeah, just because I wanted to try something new. Uh, those are fun. Those are fun. Um, a lot of movies that I want to watch, um, like back catalogs. Uh, I I think Trolls World Tour that's out. So I want to catch that one out. So that'll be fun. I hope. Uh, what else? Funny enough, I haven't been really playing a lot of Magic the Good Ring. I, I guess social distancing has been a border. Oh, I, I have played a bit. I have played a bit. Uh, it's just that setting up the camera, getting everybody in one place just to do it is a bit difficult. But hey, I've tried. I've tried. And yes, if you notice this... What, how, how do I do this? Yes. This... Yeah, I've uh, during one of those times when I was trying to play Magic the Gathering with friends online, I I'm, I'm guessing we all have the same problem of, oh, we don't have webcams, oh, the webcam is bad, or so on. So one of my friends on the Magic the Gathering group uh, suggested, hey, use this, do this, and try this, and it works and I'm trying out for the podcast. So if you guys are listening to this on iTunes, uh, hop on to the YouTube to see what you're missing out. So yeah, um, it looks passable. It looks okay. Uh, I'm not 100% sure about how it is in the long run. But hey, um, I'm just using my old phone to become a webcam so that's interesting but other than that um nothing new uh let's see yeah um you know honestly yeah there's nothing new with the current state like i would really love to watch movies like a black widow or the new rock movie so that that'll be fun but nah that's not available video games um i Yes, uh, Street of Rage 4, that will be a fun one to play. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I go always buy it digitally, so yay. So um, you know what, let's not dilly dally and let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. So if you have any questions or concerns for uh, the show, you can contact us at emissiongmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at the Mia Show. And my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Also, please subscribe and read us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And Stitch Radio, and also like our Facebook page. Yes, we have a Facebook page. <laughs> you can also catch us on polyvive.com. Links are in the show notes. Also, do subscribe and read us on iTunes and Stitch Radio. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, and Torterra reviewing the Pony comics, episodes, and specials. And sometimes we like to divert from ponies and uh, we like to review comics, cartoons, animes, and video games. Well, not really review. We, we talk about them too, depending on the topic. Yeah. So yeah, uh, go check us out there if you want to, you know, divert from the norm of ponies. So if you like to support the show, you can do so. <laughs> you can do so at patreoncom slash show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review discussion podcasts, exclusive and deleted content. And if you guys have not supported the show yet, well, go do so because uh, the review and discussion podcast has a sorry. Um, the review and discussion podcast comes out on uh, Patreon a week early and in its rawest form, meaning that the podcast is not. Well, I won't say not. It's slightly edited. So what you get there is pure, raw 
content where you get to hear Silver or I or even Terra say things that we're not supposed to say. Ooh. So if you want to find out what we quote unquote not supposed to say, go check it out there. Um, support starts as low as a dollar and you get all the contents that you want. So uh, go check it out. And I did mention a big thank you. So I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Amy, Jeffrey, Tristan, and also Master of Light. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anywho, I have been Norman Sanzo and you're listening to the MBS show and I'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the MBS show. See ya!